Hello everybody and welcome back to the brand new video today. I don't know what was that, but today we're actually going to dive into the reverse engineering world because I think it's just a fun little topic and totally not because you guys seem to be interested in that and that means reviews and that means I actually get to earn money and that means I'm going to read and that, blah, blah, blah. So today's video is actually going to be a little bit crazy because I'm going to actually prove to you and show to you that AI is the actually best tool for reverse engineering. Period. So grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack. I don't know. I drank my juice. So we're actually going to dive into this. But before we actually dive into this, Game Hacking Course is finally out. Go ahead and check it out. Link is in the description. I know you guys seem to be going crazy about it. So finally, it's out and you can actually see all the contents on the screen right now. So that's pretty epic. And also, there's a free gift for everybody. So make sure to check that out. It's actually going to be super amazing. So check it out. And on top of that, more content is coming soon. And yes, as I promised, there there is some example scripts, I'm going to call them. But yeah, get it before it actually gets expensive because I don't know, is, is this going to be troublesome to be hosted? But And also, if you want to learn hacking, check out my bug bounty course, my platform. Everything is in the description. Now let's go into the video. And if you're new, subscribe. And please like this video, please. Do you want me to go on my knees again? I, I bet you don't. So like this video. So what I'm actually going to be talking about today, uh, there is a simple program which somebody sent to me called prog.exe. So let me run it. It asks me for a password let's go with bleh. pound sand you tell me to pound sand all right but we actually need to reverse engineer this little thing so how are we actually going to do that well we're going to be using the one and only deep seek my favorite chinese ar <laughs> oh my god so we're going to be using deep seek to de-obfuscate and decompile and not maybe decompile but reverse engineer this entire program to tell us what the secret password is because i swear I got no clue what it is. I couldn't type it. I don't have to do it. So I actually have to reverse engineer. I have to look it up. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm actually going to be using GD GDB, which is a built-in debugger into the G++ tools, things, I don't know. So let's GDB in the program and boom, now we're in the debugger. So before we actually get into the nasty stuff of looking at the assembly code, I want to do something that's very much important and you'll understand why. If you know any knowledge of this assembly, you know why I'm doing this. There we go. So setting the disassembly flavor to Intel is always going to be good. So let's disassemble the one and only and main function. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just bleh, copy that up. Go to deep seek and be like, reverse engineer this for me. So I told him, please help me reverse engineer this binary. And they gave him the assembly. So let's see. So let's break this down. This is a 32-bit binary. Uh, so the mine function appears to stack, set up stack frame and it's called global constructors, all of that nerdy stuff. But here's the main logic and here's where it gets tricky. So let's see if he actually will be able to decompile this, de-understand it and give me the password which I actually actually need so he's currently doing some nasty business of his i understand secret string function mangled populates a string here and then there's a hash computation at the funky hash so we need to actually give him the decode secret and funky hash functions which are here so let me just go ahead and give him that so i'm just gonna basically copy this up so I've wrote disassemble the code secret. Oh my god, I misspelled. So disassemble the code secret. That's a long text, by the way. So let me copy this. And you know what? I'm just gonna send it to him. I, I bet you he will understand it. Ah, there you go. He I liked his bitch. You should, by the way, like my video too. Ha <laughs> ha, I got him. Now we're going to do some core reverse engineering. Nice. I love that. The decode secret function is using XOR decryption with repeating key. Let me break it down. Nice. You know I would you know I would do that. Your Instagram real enjoyers, you know I would do that in the editing um so what we need to do so we need to look at the encrypted data and the key so we need to get the xor key which is here and we need to get the encrypted data which is here for us. so eight eight bytes five bytes the xor key i'm being nerdy so uh, yeah so i actually have to just view the raw bytes at this address and this address i don't think you actually have to do that on runtime runtime or not so we're actually going to give him that but before we actually give him give him these this dad that <laughs> before we actually give him that data I actually have to give him the funky hash function, funky, funky hash functions assembly code. So let's just do that. So this is simple funky hash. Let me just copy that up. And before I actually give him the keys and encrypted strings, I have to give him this. So I told him before I give you the encrypted string and the key, here is this. So he understands what it actually means. 
Uh, let's see. Excellent. Now I can the uh, I can go with funky hash function is a custom 64 bit hash function. Let me analyze it. Initial state, blah blah blah, hash algorithm, blah blah blah, character, blah 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 blah. The encrypted data at that and that. So we actually just have to get that. And we're pretty damn Gucci. So he actually told me that before, but um yeah actually let me just do it so i need to give him uh where are the addresses by the way okay here is the address so let me just copy that and i don't think you actually have to do it on runtime so let me paste this in bam and let me paste this in so let's see if he actually will give me the right password bam because i i i'm not even kidding i don't know what the password is so let me give him this so i gave him the a byte encrypted bytes and the five by key i think this is the final piece of puzzle that is needed to decompile this whole thing up and let's see so these uh, the quick character character so p a s s w o r d oh my god that was actually uh funky hash so <laughs> i don't know what is he doing actually it's kind of confusing me i'm scared so he picked this out, but there's a funky, ha funky hash function, which does some... Okay, cool. So I actually have to use this test.py file, which I created. Good God, I knew he was going to need it. So <laughs> everybody needs Python nowadays. So let me actually just run it. So I'll have to open a new one. CD desktop. Blah. Nice Python test do i need dxc probably not but i'll just do it because it's windows uh he's doing something he, my computer you better not explode on me okay so let's just see how long this is gonna take computed hash uh let me just give him this because this tells me honestly nothing so i'll just give him the output so i gave him the output uh and let's see if he will actually and finally okay now we just have to do okay what do you mean what do you mean he's scaring me okay i'll just give him i'll actually i'm i think i'm underestimating him because he seems very confident but he can actually just get confidently wrong and i'll still believe him so that's the problem so i'm just gonna tell him the password is not the correct secret because because it's not i tried off camera so let me actually just prove that so r look password Townsend, it's not correct. So he needs to do some more digging, or I actually have to tell him that there's. I actually have to tell him what it said. Did he actually finally figured it out that it was using raw thirteen? Did he actually do it? No way, no, no way. He just did it. No, no, no. I, I doubt. I doubt. Raw thirteen, ladies and gentlemen, you're in. Yes. How was long was this recording for? Eleven minutes. God, that was actually a lot of time. But as you can see, everybody like beginner level people wouldn't be actually able to figure this out but ai was just there and told you that he can so i actually still in my opinion after some going back and forth of course you need to understand some stuff but after going some back and forth you can actually realize that he can decrypt and reverse engineer binaries as complex as this one so there you go ladies and gentlemen Thank you so much for watching this little video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video. Uh, that was the most feminine punch I've ever threw in my life. God. So yeah, stay safe, stay responsible, and peace.